welcome to the next part of our isolation video tech, uh, where we present films from our programs, competitions, Grand Prix winners, audience awards, other awards. Uh, and the idea is to bring general audience, the films to general audience, so you can see what films you can expect at our and at other animation festivals. We have Monica and Alice with us, who had uh, their film, two of their films in uh, Zagreb in competitions and won awards. And um, for Amelia and Duarte, you got the best first film after education awards. So did this award help you in your further filmmaking? I mean, we know the next film was then in Zagreb later. Um, it was amazing because it was the first uh, award that we got. And uh, after you make the film, you're not sure how it's gonna, how the audience, audience is gonna react. So we didn't know if it would, um, would, co would communicate to the audience and getting that award was like, oh my God, we got it. You know, you, we, we made it, we, we could, uh, it's like um, a signal, a sign that it, it was um, saying something to the audience. So it was really, really, really good. I would say that the animation festival in Zagreb has a great reputation. So it was very meaningful for us, uh, even so in terms of continuing to work and making other projects because the international um, recognition of the of our film it makes it uh, easier to get funding for another project so it was very important to keep us aboard on the animation adventure <laughs> and the next film uh, between the shadows it got the audience award uh, in zagreb uh, so which is also a great award uh, Mm -hmm. In both those films, uh, I see them as uh, they are very romantic. Uh, they have uh, passionate love affairs in both of them. And are you both a uh, very romantic person, or how do you choose? How do you choose the subjects of your films? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm not sure if I'm very romantic, but I think I I, I like um, stories that you know have relationships. I think that's all the, what it is to be alive and to have this connection with people. I think that maybe that's what um, propels me to 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 make stories. Not maybe not a romantic or not, because both of both of them have a, li a really like sour feeling as well. So. Yeah, yeah, they don't have happy ends, but still. <laughs> yeah, 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 but still they are. Yeah, but I think what, for me, what's important is the relationship part, not the romantic part. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I would say that I'm not really a romantic, but I think I do really like the aspect that we are social beings and that's very important actually nowadays. So, and that we, our personality, everything you are, it's partially made with others and because of others they help you grow and make you the person you are today and i think that really translates well in both the films that sense of evolution with others <laughs> Do you preparing a new film together or uh, because now you can't meet and discuss in person? <laughs> now we are doing our own films, so there's not that problem. <laughs> isolation, creative isolation as well. Uh, sometimes I think we kind of want the need for normalcy and to have this uh, normal daytime. And it's I don't think it mixes well together with the time we're, we're living. I think it's a very introspective time and I, I really wanted not to do anything. If I could, I would just read and watch films and I think because 
I think this this the world is calling us to you know to be here in isolation and a bit contemplation and a bit uh, thinking about the world and the future and how we've we've lived until now and how we want to live after this. Maybe as an artist, you will have a good comment on this in, in your future yeah. films. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. What festivals mean to both of you in general? And maybe, Monica, how would you describe Zagreb to somebody who is thinking of going, going to it? Anima Fest is um, very lively, very lively. And for me, I can... The opening session for me was awesome because it was a full house. So it was amazing that all the audience had come and to watch films, animation films. It was really, really good. Uh, people from professionals and students and everyone mixed together talking about films, about what they watched in a very um, friendship base and very, uh, how do you call it? I'm now I'm not remembering the word in English. Uh, you can say in Portuguese, we can look in Google. <laughs> look up, look up. <laughs> but very enthusiastic. Okay. <laughs> very enthusiastic about animation, and that's really good. There are very animation lovers, even the audience, people that didn't, that weren't professionals or students, the audience was really, really. Um, mm -hmm. And for you, the festivals, Alice, so in general, you haven't been, but you will maybe come next time. Yes, I would love. I would really love to go to Zagreb. I'm really sorry that I didn't do it yet. And uh, I do think festivals are very important, both to to publicize the films because it's easier uh, as a group, as a, a showing them together, the films, because short films are not really easy to watch in, a, in the cinema or anything. So festivals are really important. And also to talk to other directors, to understand problems, to discuss films with other people around the globe who have the same interests than we do. And that, that, that really is important, has a feeling of community, mostly. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, well then, maybe you want to introduce your uh, film with a word or two sentence, like what, what, what are people going to see? Well, I would say our film, it's about the ending, the ending of a love story about how can you translate your love story into objects and what can you learn from it? It's kind of a, a visual poetry project. I hope that the film can relate to everybody, to everybody's love story, and at the same time, it's really a story about two specific persons and a specific love story, but that everyone can relate and learn from it. It's a good film to watch uh, in this uh, lockdown isolation because you can always think about your lost loves and lost lovers and like make a little bit of uh, film therapy with it. I think it's, it's a good film for these times. Uh, for the end, we can try to make this Znaci uh, Zagreb thing and try to make Z with your hands if you can. <laughs> Zesnaci Zagreb. Yeah, that's Zesnaci. it. <laughs> Zesnaci Thank you. Zagreb. <laughs> Thank you and uh, see you somewhere. Zesnaci Zagreb. Uh, on the globe in Zagreb. Yeah. <laughs> we will see each other, don't worry. Good, good luck with your films and uh, yes, until next time. Yeah. Thank you, yes, thank, thank you very you. much for your time.